All right, welcome to Photoshop, and I got a new microphone, so hopefully this audio sounds a little bit better. We're gonna take a look at how to put an object inside of a translucent object today. I've taken this tree and I've put it inside the object, so I'm gonna show you the process in which I use blending modes in a couple different layers to make this look realistic. First thing we're gonna do is go ahead and get rid of everything that I did. And this is our original image. We have this light bulb and it's lit. Now, the background is sort of the same color as the light bulb. It's gonna be a little bit difficult to select. So don't be surprised if you have to go into the image and use a mask to sort of clean this up in the, at some point during the process. So we're gonna go ahead and get the quick selection tool and see how good of a selection we can make with the quick selection tool. We're gonna have to get out here close to the edges to sort of get those selected. It's not gonna be happy with the areas that are quite different. That's pretty good. I'm not gonna use uh, or select this kind of screw part of the light bulb here. We're gonna leave that out because we're just gonna keep this simple. But actually one of these photos doesn't look too bad with the leaves coming out of it. That's a pretty good selection. I'm gonna hold down the Alt here and do minus and get rid of a little bit of that. So that's pretty good. I'm not gonna worry about getting this perfect here. Um, we're just gonna keep this and get going. So next thing we need to do is pick an image to put in here. And I think I had, I had this one the first time. And so the trick here with this image is to get this sun lined up with this area of the image. So in this case, we're gonna use the command, command A to select all, command C to copy, and then we're gonna go back over to our image and we're gonna use a paste command, but a special paste command. So we're gonna drop down to paste special and put paste into, and that's gonna put the image inside of that selection. Now it looks horrible right now and that's okay. We are gonna lower the opacity so we can kind of see the image below. And I'm gonna take my move tool and I'm gonna drag this image up a little bit. Now the image in general is just too big. So we're gonna hit Command T to transform that. And I'll hold the Alt and it's gonna scale from the center. And that looks pretty good right there. And I'm gonna just hit Return and apply that change. And now we can go ahead and move this. And notice I'm trying to get the sun up here where at this part of the image where the light is. And we'll just go and say that's okay. Doesn't need to be perfect for this tutorial. So the next thing we need to do is get it, this image to look like it sort of belongs inside of this light bulb. So we're gonna come down here to the blending modes. And one of the cool new features within Photoshop is now when you hover over an image, it shows you automatically what that image is gonna look like with that specific blending mode. And this is a whole lot easier. So we'll go down here and check overlay, but for this image, multiply is gonna be the image that we like. Now what I'm gonna do is, is bring the opacity back up so you can see this at full opacity. This is our darken, this is our multiply, lighten is gonna make it too bright, overlay is not gonna work. So we're gonna go with multiply. Now when you put an image inside, you don't want the opacity to be 100% because then it's gonna look like the scene inside of a light bulb. We want it to look like it's inside the light bulb and it belongs there. So we're gonna lower this opacity a little bit because when you would be looking through glass, you wouldn't see that strong contrast that you'd normally see. It would be a little bit hazy. That's just the way things look like when they're inside of glass objects. So this is pretty good here, I'm happy with that. Now the next thing that we need to do, and this is pretty typical whenever you put something inside of water or inside of an object, you need to actually take a copy of the object and still overlay that on top of it. Because right now, this layer is pretty much dominant, but there's some subtle highlights and shadows that we wanna overlay over top of this image. So what we're gonna do is go down here to the background layer and I'm gonna hit Command J to copy that layer. And we're gonna drag that layer above it. Now the cool thing is we've already made this mask. So to move a mask, I'm gonna hold the Alt Option key and drag that up and just apply that mask 
to this image. We're gonna come down here and we are gonna try some different blending modes again and see what looks good. Layton's not gonna work. Overlay looks pretty good. We're getting a lot of the highlights and parts of this light bulb. And now we're gonna drag this down because we don't want it to affect it a lot. We just wanna affect it a little bit. So we're gonna drag that up. I can boost the opacity back up just a bit. So when you put this layer on top of this layer, it's gonna kind of fade it or soften it out a little bit. So we'll go ahead and drag or increase the opacity a little bit for this layer. And now you can come in here and kind of play around with these layers and that looks pretty good. So for this image, we're just gonna say that's pretty good. And we're gonna take another one just so we can go over the whole process again. So I'm gonna shift click and then hit delete. Oops, we're gonna command Z that. I actually want this mask so I don't have to select the mask again. What we're gonna do is we're gonna actually keep this layer right here. That's good. So we're gonna use both of these layers but we'll just turn this one off for right now. I'm actually gonna turn this layer back on. You can actually make a selection from a mask if you hold the command button down on a Mac and you click on it, notice it makes the selection from the mask. Now we're gonna need that. We're gonna come back up to this tree. I'm gonna hit, I will show you the slow way, select all, then we're gonna go copy, and then once again, we're gonna go and paste into. So edit, paste special, paste into. And that's gonna put that image inside of the light bulb. We can move this over. Now this is way too big. So once again, we're gonna hit Command T to transform. And we're gonna transform that down a little bit. And we'll hit return. Now one of the issues with, with transform is you don't wanna make something really small and then make it big again. Because once you make it small, it actually reduces the size and saves it. And then if you make it bigger, it's gonna get all pixelated. So if you plan on, you're not sure what size something wants, you want it to be. So if you're not sure what size you want something to be, you need to make it as a smart object. Smart object won't run into those issues. But for this tutorial, I think we're gonna be pretty good. So we're just gonna reduce this, pretty small. That looks good. And then I will put this image here. It's a little cattywampus or a little crooked, so I'm gonna straighten it out a little bit. And then we'll just slowly push this over. All right, that looks pretty good. So once again, we're gonna take this and make this blending mode multiply. Now it's making it too dark, but that's okay, because remember, we're going to probably end up lowering the opacity on this. Now I've got this layer on. You're gonna have to copy that layer like we did before. So you would Command J to copy that layer, move it above, and then drag with the Alt key to put the mask back on that layer. And so when I do that, you can see we're overlaying that light bulb to sort of get some of those effects into it. I think I'm gonna reduce this down a little bit. And then we're gonna go to this layer and increase that. Now this one, I'm gonna do an extra step. I'm gonna come in here. Now this is this part of this image that I'm looking at. I'm gonna grab my selection lasso tool and I've got a large feather at 55 pixels and I'm just gonna select that glow. I want some of that glow. So I'm gonna hit Command C, copy. It's important that you're on that layer when you do this. And then I'm gonna come back up to this image and create a new layer and I'm gonna hit Command V to paste it. So I've pasted that layer over top of that so we can see, now that's at 100% and we don't want that. We're just gonna lower this back down. And what that's gonna do is give some of this glow that we would see from this light on the top of this tree and it will fade it down. Now, because the sun's up here, this is gonna be the most washed out part. And this part's gonna be washed out a little bit or hazy like not 100% black, but it's not gonna be as strong as up here. And it's really, you can pick how, how much or less or little as you want. So I'm just gonna put it about there and that looks pretty good. Now, one thing you would wanna do is zoom in here and clean up your mask if you have some issues with your mask. 
So that's how you put images inside of translucent objects. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave those below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe.